Your Special Teenage Brain with Nicola Morgan Teenagers are criticised for all sorts of things, but scientists now know that there are some differences in the teenage brain which can help explain some of the problems you may sometimes have. First, let me point out that you are all different. Individuals with different strengths and weaknesses, and different things going on in your lives. Not all of you will have the difficulties I'm going to talk about. But you all go through teenage brain changes, and many of you will recognise some of the challenges that can make being a teenager tough. Let me tell you some things scientists have discovered. Starting at around about the age of 10 or 11, and usually slightly earlier for girls than boys, your brain cells suddenly grow lots more connections. Not long after that, your brain cells lose lots of connections. Now, that might sound bad, but it's actually completely natural, and it's an important stage, but it can make things tricky for a while. For example, some teenagers can suddenly become a little bit clumsy, or find that they are less good at something they were really good at before. If that happens, it can be stressful. But remember, it's just temporary, and it's not your fault. The clumsiness will go away, and if you keep practising, you can get any skill back again. Also, you might find that your emotions are all over the place. You might feel really angry or sad and not know why. You might snap at people, including your friends. You might find it very hard to control what you say and do. Here's one possible reason. The brain area you need for controlling emotions is called the prefrontal cortex. And it's not fully developed until you're well into your 20s. Meanwhile, the emotional areas in your brain are well developed and very active. So you might have strong emotions and a weaker control centre. It's not surprising then if your emotions sometimes feel out of control. What about risk-taking? Lots of teenagers do take big risks and adults sometimes ask, what were you thinking? And the point is that risk-taking isn't just about thinking. Let me explain. There's a chemical produced in the brain called dopamine, which makes us want to do exciting things. And some teenagers seem to have more or different dopamine activity. So the urge to do the risky thing might be overpowering which makes it harder for you to use the thinking parts of your brain, the prefrontal cortex. But you can't just give up and say, oh, it's my teenage brain, and wait until you're older. The way we make our brains work better is by trying and practising and learning from our mistakes. Now, some of the risks teenagers take are really dangerous, especially with alcohol and drugs. Scientists have discovered that teenage brains are more easily damaged than others. And if you lose brain cells through being drunk, for example, those cells don't grow back. So we know the teenage brain is extra vulnerable. That's why adults make all those rules you don't like to try to protect you. I didn't like those rules when I was your age either. But you won't get another brain, so it's worth doing your best to look after it. One day, you might even be glad that an adult cared enough to try to keep you safe. What about sleep? Why do teenagers often find it really difficult to wake up and difficult to go to sleep? Well, your brain needs more sleep than adults do. About nine hours a night on average, though everyone's a bit different. But the sleep chemical in your brain, called melatonin, usually won't switch on and make you sleepy till late at night, around about the same time as adults. So you probably aren't getting enough sleep. And we know that sleep affects mood, grades, concentration, relationships, and many aspects of physical and mental health. Sleep problems are also a big part of depression, and some experts say that they may even cause depression. Getting a bit more sleep could make you feel much better during the day, and work better too. There are lots of tips for getting better sleep on my handout, and on my website, and in your booklet, but here are the two most important ones. 
One hour before you want to feel sleepy, start to wind down. Put your work away, close your curtains, turn off bright lights and get washed and undressed ready for bed. And the second thing is, turn all screens, phones and internet devices off. Yes, off, and don't put them on again until the morning. The problem is that the light your screens give off is similar to daylight. It shines right in your eyes and makes your brain think that it's daytime and time to be awake. Unfortunately, teenagers often feel sad, depressed, stressed or anxious. And that's such a big part of life for some teenagers, especially with exams, that I've made a separate animation about that called Tackling Teenage Stress. But there are good things about teenage brains too. First, you are the best age to become expert at things. Practicing whatever you want to be good at will have a really positive effect. So don't give up when things are tough because what you do now will really help you in the future. Secondly, as you get to around about the age of 15 or 16, your brain becomes able to do much more complicated thinking. Deep thinking, having your own ideas and morals, making connections between things you learn at school and things you see on the news, for example. Thirdly, this is all about you becoming independent, and that's a good thing, though it might be scary too. Here are the main things to remember about the special teenage brain. Some teenagers don't find these years difficult, but lots do. Your brain goes through big physical changes, changes which are natural, temporary and positive. But these changes can make it hard to control emotions and actions. You might take more risks and make bad decisions. And you'll probably find it difficult to get enough sleep. But your brain is keen for new experiences and is in peak condition to learn new things and become brilliant at the things you choose to work at. Also remember that our brains develop best if we don't just sit around waiting, but actually keep practicing and trying, pushing ourselves to learn from mistakes and aim for success. Making mistakes and failing sometimes are good things. They help us learn. Keep your eyes and mind open to new ideas. Aim high and look ahead to a bright future. Your special teenage brain will work well for you if you take care of it and do your best. If you're interested in finding out much more about your teenage brain and how to respect it, try my books and my website. And your school has lots of my resources.